Hello, Shalil. Arif, please let me know if you can hear me. Please let me know in the chat if you can hear me. Hello, Arif. Awaz aari aapko? Good evening. Welcome, Arpreet. Welcome, Raj. Excellent, excellent. Sanjeev ji, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Fareen, welcome. Excellent. So we're going to start in a few minutes. It's uh, 7.27, and I'm grateful that you're here. So ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a new thing for most people, because I'm going to talk about the mechanism how to construct a story and what is the importance of story. Shilpa, good to see you. Excellent. Thank you for coming. And um, so, so friends, we've had a long chat today with uh, Sanjeev Datta and I, and we were talking about the importance of uh, digital marketing or uh, writing value letters. We have a WhatsApp group that you can subscribe to if you like. Um, Fareen, can you just put the link, please, of the community? And I will um, urge everybody to join. So we were talking about this particular thing. Um, you know, he's into chemical business. And he was saying that most of it is B2B. How would it be useful for me? And I was telling him that it is going to be super useful for you. It is not about your product. It's not about making a sale. It's about your visibility. So what happens is that we do not become visible. What we want to do is we have a product in hand and we want to sell it. And then we think, oh, the product should talk about itself. And since that man is into the same industry, he will require the product. Correct. No doubt about it. He will require the product. And you have the product and you have the price. So you can make a sale. But if he knows you, if he knows your value systems, if he knows who you are, then the credibility is a lot better. Then he doesn't have to think twice about it. Of course, if he's an old client of yours, even then, you know how between a husband and wife relationship, even if they're 80 years old, they want to hear each other say, I love you to each other. That sense of belonging, the sense of oneness comes in. So whether you have an old client or you have a new client, you got to tell him, I love you in your own respect, not I love you, literally. But you need to build up that communication. So, so I'm just going to, while other people join in, I want to show you some videos. One video, uh, it's a three minute video. So enjoy while it's playing. I'm going to start it now. And the video for the next three minutes, it, it's a self explanatory video.
So, friends, did you see the video? Did you enjoy seeing the video? So this is a story. This is the power of a video. It, in just three minutes, they covered the life cycle. And this is what it is. You don't know what's there, you know. I'll tell you what happened the other day. Um, my friend Mike Prince was here. I'm having a webinar with him tomorrow. So he was here and we were having lunch. My computer was on and I was telling them, I was telling him, I want to go to Hokkaido. Hokkaido is, uh, you know, it's a small island um, of Japan. And I want to go and see the eagles and the owls when it's snowing. And um, he said, well, you know, do you know anybody there? I said, yeah, I have a friend, Kazu Arai, and I also have another bird watching friend, Mark Brazil. And they both live there, and Mark Brazil is the master, and Kazu is the head of that organization in Hokkaido. So I can get there. You know, I don't know if it's true or not, but five minutes later, when I was surfing through my Facebook, I saw one message where Kazu and Mark Brazil were interacting with each other on Facebook. You know, so I said, well, maybe the AI is working. Maybe Facebook is hearing everything that we're talking about. Correct. So I was telling Sanjeev, I said, Sanjeev, don't worry about what your videos are going to do. Even with your new clients or old clients, they are going to be able to see you on Facebook. Facebook will make you, you know, make you visible to them. And that is the power of AI. So just go ahead and post your videos, you know, and whatever happens will happen. Your, your job is to do your karma and let things happen on their own. Okay, so let me start with my, I just want to know if everybody is, uh, how, how, um, how keen are you to know about storytelling mechanism, how it can be constructed? I just want you to say wh uh, why if you're really keen, medium if you're medium, or you already know, it's, it's fine, you don't need to do anything. So can you just put that, it sort of gives me energy to take you on. I'm not a coach, I'm not a coach, I am your friend. So I am going to tell you what I know. And that's my, that's my job. My job is because I'm a follower of Chanakya. And Chanakya said the dharma of any business, when you go beyond survival, beyond roti and pani, before you, beyond your bread and butter. Your job is to deliver what you know to the world to make it a better place. There may be some transactions happening. There may, may be some sort of product versus money, but that's not what it is. The other person requires a product or the service and you have the capacity to do it. And if you know how to deliver it, then you got to do it. So, so your job is to deliver what you, what you got you can't, you've got to be a pipeline. You cannot be a container because a container will get, will get filled up. A pipeline won't. A pipeline will continue to deliver whatever liquid there is for people to take. So that's my, that's my job. I'm going to uh, sl start my presentation now so that you have <laughs> money. I know you, you, I'm sorry. I'm just sort of putting it a little extra for all you to, Okay, starting. Okay, so so this is my passion, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And this is also my new capacity that I built during lockdown. And I started to, um, uh, you know, yesterday also in, in um, email marketing class, I was, I was telling everybody that in 2015, uh, my business guru told me that in the next 10 years, you all will be wiped out if you don't get onto digital platform because the bloodbath is going to start. And anybody who gets onto digital platforms will be able to, you know, what just, you know, wipe you out in no time. And then in 2017, he called. He said, sorry, I was wrong. The bloodbath has started. So are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? So we got really serious. We got serious the moment he told us in 2015. And we then started to scale up. 
you know, uh, day after day, inch by inch, we moved up, and it was really nice. So, so storytelling coupled with email marketing is a huge bomb, which you need to ignite for your business. So, this is how you are going. Why do we tell stories? Telling stories is a powerful way to let your thoughts reach your audience. You know, you will influence, teach, and inspire. Entrepreneurs and professionals can get more customers. And I'll tell you, I'll give you a proof for that. But do you remember when we were little, when we were children? So we used to sit around campfires or, you know, in, in older homes, we used to sit around, you know, wood, wood fired stoves, or we would sit around any sort of Deepak or any uh, oil lamp that used to be lit in the mandir or anywhere else. So somebody would tell us stories and that would empower us. You know why? Because it's fire element that's working. And that story then finally becomes your manifestation. And that is how we have clothes on us today. That's how we fly today. That's how, because somebody had a dream which turned into a story. And the story reached out to hundreds of people. That's what Elon Musk is doing right now. It's everything is a story. So if you if you everybody has a story, there's no doubt about that. But it's just that we're not being able to put it forward to people to listen to us. So storytellers forges relationships with your network to grow your audience. It connects people and ideas. Stories convey a lot about you, your culture, your environment, yourself, and your and these elements unite people. They really do. So if you've got, I'm going to share some interesting things with you. So don't worry about copying. If you want to, you can go ahead. But it's best that you focus on what I'm talking about. I'm just a phone call away. You can always reach out to me. And I'm happy to just share the entire presentation with you. So don't worry about that. OK, so I haven't. So some people don't know my introduction. I'm Mohit Agarwal, blessed with four children, a son and a daughter, and two non-humans. One is a Kutta Labrador, he's too cute. And the other one is an escapee African Grey, a Tota. And I'm a follower of Shiva, that which is not, which is another story which I'll tell you if you don't know what it means. Professionally, I'm an experiential ecotourism specialist with deep love for nature. I help people travel to some wonderful places in Asia. I'm the founder of Asian Adventures, a 26-year-old travel company. It is the largest and number one bird watching company in India. I'm also the creator of Natty Netta, an email marketing company. The company is on a large mission to help Asian elephants with the corridors, free the Himalayas of plastic waste and help small wildlife NGOs, and also save the ancient Himalayan shrines. And of course, I'm on the board of Asian Ecotourism Network and I work, I'm a founder member of Wildlife Trust of India. I work a lot with ecotourism bodies and I work a lot with NGOs, like I said. So how to double any, you know, I, I'm, I'm bringing in business again and again because most people get more moved when I talk about business money, which is in short supply because of COVID today. And everybody says, something should happen you know so so people want to know that but storytelling is not just restricted to your business of or money it's also about you and your relationships so stories increase our likelihood to purchase products you know they're the they're the company that did a survey that storytelling when started for a company they understood that 55% buyers were likely to buy more and 15% were buying straight away. And that was a huge jump for them. And this is Refinery29. It's a lifestyle um, um, outlet for women. So stories work. And then shopping cart. You know, for from 1,53,000 in one year, they jumped to 10 lakhs. So it was an 8x growth just because they started to talk about things, their products as stories. So stories make all the difference. So this is your takeaway for today. Stay on till the end because I'm going to share a document with you which you can download. 
and you'd be able to go through some steps to start your storytelling journey if you haven't started. And storytelling, when coupled with email, is a bomb, like I said. And I want you to ignite that bomb for your business. So the proof that, that this works, I've just shown you exactly why sending story emails are so effective, how this emailing system elevates you above the competition and also make you competition proof. Because you're the one who's telling the stories, your competitor is not telling the stories. You're, you're talking about everything that you mean is correct. Where do you get stories from? People will say, make a banaunga. It's so simple. I'll tell you all about it in this. How to build an email story with as little effort as possible. And final tips and FAQs. The two greatest forces that increase your revenue quickly are this, right? Um, so here I'm talking about email, but the email can be repurposed into a video. So if you're video masters, you know, you got that icing on the cake, Sone Pe Sohaga. So you're going to be the masters of that extremely exquisite jewelry because then you know what videos can do, right? A text can only, people will be able to read the text but the emotion won't be that much. You put a visual along with the text, it goes a long way. But moment you start to talk in a video, the other person is processing that entire communication within himself. So that's the power of the video. So imagine the state, when you come to the state that your clients will say, oh, I miss hearing from you. I need to hear you more. You know, your competition will be, hey, what is this guy doing? or you will be far above your competition. And you-ness, I'm sitting here and you're sitting there. So whatever we're doing, we're doing, right? Authenticity, then attention. So you'll become an attention grabbing machine. You know, if you have great videos, you have great stories, people will say, hey, I want, I want to listen to this guy, you know, or you will, I will star this thing to, to, to see his story later. Then of course you can become a leader or a celebrity. We have another person in our group called Dr. Samira Gupta. And uh, uh, you know, she loves to articulate very well. And according to me, in my mind, she's a leader. And she's a great doctor in Bombay. And because she talks and she puts her videos out, I think she's a leader. Joint venture. People are calling me for joint venture, saying that can we but can we partner for so and so? Can we do this together? And your content machine will continue to grow. You will dominate anybody's inbox. Your credibility will go through the roof. And your audience will continue to increase. Like how you are here today for me, other people will be there for you as well. And your feedback engine. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. That's what Ken Blanchard says. And I completely believe that. If you just move your company into, or your profession into feedback-based business, you, you can't fail. Because they're the ones who are building your business. They're giving you the right feedback. Constructive, good, bad, ugly. If it's ugly, fantastic. If it's good, oh, awesome. You know? So, Again, coming back to uh, what I was talking about, that $1 of investment over a period of time gives you 42% return, which no other digital um, platform gives you as of today, even now. So just wanted to let you know the power of email. $40, $40 catalogs, SEO is less, and mobile and mobile. Everything else is less than email. So if you can repurpose your videos and add them to your email, They'll be fantastic. So here is an example. Just look at it very carefully. So here, when we say, I'm not going to read the entire email, but I want you to look at some of the key things. When we say, have you registered for tomorrow's game-changing live training at 7 p.m. ET tomorrow? My special guest is revealing his patent pending method for skyrocketing profit and traffic. But you haven't told me why. What am I going to get out of it? You might be talking about skyrocketing tra traffic and profit. What am I going to? Is it addressing to me? 
right so no story and then by engaging with them everywhere with simultaneously building a list and make but there's no story there's no engagement just click here and that's about it right the kind of emails that i've sent you because i know you so you came for my thing you know and uh, and my emails are as boring as anybody else's but i have the capability of you of writing fantastic emails and that is the capability that you can build for yourself and that's what this um, webinar is going to do for you today our brains are wired for stories they really are and um, uh, uh, you know it's all about stories so sometimes you know when you when when your child wants to listen to a story you'll cook up a story and next day you'll say okay uh, you'll say mujhe wohi sunni i want to listen to that same story and then you start repeating but you forgot what you said he says no but the horse it wasn't a white horse it was a black horse and it wasn't a prince it was a princess he said oh my god you know how can i make this so his brain is so wired for stories and so is yours so uh, ruby is there a problem with uh, with your hearing can you still hear me or you can't hear me okay it says uh, can't hear frozen i'd like to know if everybody can hear me well <coughs> can you hear me dirty or please say if you can hear me if you can't hear me i will reboot okay kumar says yes okay great thank you thank you priya thank you if you missed out something i'll say <laughs> thank you thank you all okay okay so here is a, is a great example okay so <clears throat> somebody wrote and it was like a news piece an estimated 4 million children in africa are malnourished they simply don't have the food they need to grow up properly so many of these kids won't develop like they should they should they'll be underweight sickly and won't be able to help their families sadly many of these kids will develop serious health problems or even die because of the lack of access to food you know it's a it's a touching news but then you've got hundreds of other pieces of news that you got to worry about so you won't do any action on it but if i wrote this when eliana goes to bed at night she can hardly sleep due to the hunger pains in her stomach her mother tries to help she caresses her head and gives eliana sips of water hoping it'll help but it seldom does even weeks eliana goes days without eating it truly breaks my heart to tell you her story imagine being 6 years old and not knowing when your next meal is going to come from imagine how scared you'd feel and unsafe a young girl shouldn't have to feel this way now you say what can i do about this little child it's not about the child you now more connected with the problem that exists there in that part of africa correct so this is the power of a story right so let's count the ways you can create stories it could be about the story of your product how it was discovered made or refined or anything like that right so there will be lots of questions that can jog your memory product or service creation how you created it you know with so much gust of so much passion so much love and so much so many dreams what's your back story how did you get started what was your struggle you know so it's like when i was when i was 6 um, months old my mother picked me up in her godi and she, and we were standing in a balcony and she was showing me one particular bird which was blue in color and you know in one of my meditative stages i saw her do that and when i came out of it i asked her i said did you show me a bird when i was 6 months old she said i can't remember i said we were sitting in so and so place and standing and you you had me in your, in your arms and it was in a balcony and was this the bird so i since i'm a bird watcher i pointed out that bird to her and she said yes this is exactly the bird but how do you know you were only 6 months old i said because it came to my chitta it came into my canvas into my awareness right so that's my back story so that's how i became a bird watcher because my mother being a nature lover introduced me to birds right from the beginning you know and i i run bird watching tours today 
So what's the prevalent condition? What was the prevalent condition then? Learning to solve, what sort of problem? What, you know, what sort of problem did you have when you were building up your business? You know, if Sanjeev Tata is going through transition and he wants to sell chemicals, he has problems of establishing his credibility, although everybody knows him in the market because he's made that transition. You know, people could be taking him for a ride. You know, so what sort of problem? What sort of frustration? And then who came as a Masiya to help? Who came as your guru? Who came as your mother to help you, to handhold you? And who didn't, right? And whoever didn't also taught you. So that's also a great way of looking at it, that anybody who made you fail, who did not help you, actually is helping you to become stronger. And what hurdles you faced? What doubters are there? What's your journey? What's traveled? What's test and tweaking? So when you start to build on these stories and when you start to send it to your right kind of avatars, that is when they start to connect with you. Now, if I send a story that means a lot to me, to somebody else who's not the right fit for it, we'll trash it. We'll say, well, you know, this guy's just clogging my inbox and I'm going away and he will go away. So, so I want you to understand that I've talked about the proof and I've talked about the importance of the um, the story and the kind of options you can have lots and lots and lots of options you know of stories these are just it's just the tip of the iceberg so I want you to look at the mechanism the mechanism of building a story is the key to success to you know to to your great story you always want to market your own unique mechanism your own mechanism that's proprietary don't worry about it. nobody can copy you even if somebody tries to he will get sidelined into his own mechanism because he will not know this he won't be able to write it down so whatever that you write is your own mechanism this is how you stand apart from your competitors even if you are in a field where everyone is seemingly offering the same thing let's say if i'm a if i'm a uh, you know a garage um, owner so I will say, okay, if your Maruti 800 comes to me, it'll be the trade. It'll be treated the same way I treat Lexus, and I'm going to make sure that it's the moment car comes in, it's ushered in, and we take it to the ramp. We're going to check all the nuts, bolts, everything the way we do for any car. So your car, if it's a cheaper car, it won't be looked down upon, and we would do exactly the way we do it for Lexus. Right, and the package cost is little higher than the others. The others charge you 800 rupees for a service. I'm going to charge you 1200. You know why? Because I'm going to clean up your car like a new car, like a baby. Okay, when I start to talk like that, the car lover will say, Oh man, he's talking my language. It's, you know, I can park my baby in his in his cradle. You know, it's, it's, it's safe there. I mean, let me tell you, I, I know nothing about cars. My son came up and said, oh, you, you should buy yourself a Q7 or whatever. So I said, you know, he's a musician. So I thought Q7 is a new acoustic guitar. I said, but you just bought a guitar three months ago. He said, no, Q7 is a car. I said, okay, but how many wheels? So he says, uh, well, he started to laugh. He said, four wheels. I said, the day a new car comes that has five wheels, I will buy it. I promise you. But right now, my car is working on four wheels I'm very happy with it uh, just a joke but just to tell you that this is how it works right and then the mechanism needs to be worked upon extremely well on with pen and paper not on the computer okay online course about classroom management let's say um, Getting kids to behave by drawing them closer, not pushing them further away, getting their respect by giving it or their level, being likable without sacrificing your authority. Now, if you tell that to a child, uh, to a parent, the parent will be happy that I should send my child to that school because they've got everything taped up. Or a meditation program, you know, uh, product employs the neural beta technology to alter brainwaves while you meditate for deeper states. 
correct so if i if i explain the mechanism how i will deliver or give my product or i how i made my product the mechanism plays an important role understand the story crux is mechanism how do you do it so tons of fodder for great emails ability to educate share teach establish superiority of your product or service prospects start learning about your product about you that you got patience you can create demand and you are giving uness so i'll tell you many years ago i went to sadar bazaar to buy can't remember yeah so so wires for my lodge yeah so people won't talk to me because i just needed only a handful maybe two bundles or something and uh, and i was going through bagirath palace and people kept telling me chalo chalo aage chalo aage chalo and then one guy said ha hai kitna chahiye so i said itne ka chahiye to he says aage chalo so they won't talk to me you know why because it's not up there really to sell small stuff then i went into another wholesaler shop i didn't give up and that guy said oh you've come here you know come and sit here where are you from so i said i'm from noida would you like a, a cup of tea i said yeah but look let me tell you i just need only two bundles you don't need to molly cordial me for this he says the point is you come all the way from noida and how can i be mean to you so whether you want one or none that's not my concern you come and sit here boy i ended up paying more money to him than what the real cost was but it was a great experience dealing with that man and every time i wanted anything you know with the which was electrical in nature i went back to him because he talked to me he gave me the story he told asked me aap kahan se ho kya karte ho i also asked him the same things and all of that so mechanism right so when you start to write um, your script you need to say you know the mechanism like let's say a massive 24 ounce cut of prime rib is a full pound and half of fatty animal flesh prime rib nourishes your body with essential fats amino acids and minerals like selenium magnesium phosphorus and zinc it satisfies your brain's reward pathway and shuts off your hunger what does it do that's what my product does right it shuts down your hunger and thanks to hormone called leptin okay then you have open loop so i won't go into open loop because that that they'll take us in a different loop altogether right i'm just going to stick to mechanism right now i'll tell you more about 24 7 samana mindset in my next email so it's an open loop so like i'm saying it's an open loop we'll do it but let me tell you i'm doing the storytelling session every week and not just this one there'll be more additions to it so stay tuned with me as you go along sign up for my facebook community like how all of us are in each other's communities and get all those pearls that i'll keep dropping sorry i'm not i'm not just boasting i'm just saying that this is a saying you know pearls of wisdom i have no wisdom i'm just giving you some pearls okay so um never forget that every bite of food we take has a hormonal experience and um then um social proof testimonials call to action in my engagement i'm going to give you all this at the end of the webinar you can you know you can download all the entire thing right and this ps ps works wonders okay so if you can make a box like this or if you can color it red ps works wonders because you know whatever that you read you can summarize every time everything in this last ps a ps you know sort of a thing so let's recap all about this unique mechanism you tell stories around your product or services unique mechanism you tell story you can unique mechanism that fuels the problem of your prospect you tell story the but the solutions that your prospect enjoys right you do all of that so so it's so simple you just build a story now what does it have to do with making a sale so i'm not saying making a sale is bad i'm saying build the story power within yourself and the sale will happen but when it's time to sell you sell no problem with that no nobody stopping you to sell but just don't keep selling 
you know, build that story for that other person to get engaged with you. A list of stories, the pain felt by a prospect, solution of a product, your successful customer, the cautionary tale. You know, you, you can say, hey, look, I almost fell into the trap. I don't want you to do that. Don't get caught. Okay, I, I've, I've been there, I've done that, I've been through it, I've lived that, so don't make that mistake. And why conventional solutions don't work? So if you want to do a disruption, you need to tell them why your solution is better than the others. Why something else is better than what you're projecting is better than the others. How are you better than the others? For example, conventional uh, solution can be the same solution that anybody else is providing. But it's just that you're the man or you're the person who's at his doorstep every time he calls. So it's not the same solution. This solution is more powerful than the other solutions. Feeling to overcome the problem, the feeling that you have, the, the exuberance or the sadness or the happiness, you know, whatever that that happened or it was a long drawn game, finally, whoosh, you know, I did it. And that was it. A before and after story or a parable related to your product. You know, anything which is spiritual in nature or anything, like I said, it's my dharma to deliver what I know, right? And this this is my, so, so when I say dharma and karma, people say, what the hell is he talking about? Because people won't understand it. But people who understand it will say, yes, and I should, I, sh I should do that, you know? So this is not something that came to me because I was born like that. When I read Chanakya's book, it changed my life. He talks about many other concepts that I'll talk about at some point of time when we do the book reading thing. You know, if you can read Chanakya Neeti, I promise you the way you do business will change forever. And then a passion topic. You know, so it's like draw into your draw, draw into your draw, don't waste your time, draw into your just go ahead and draw, right? Uh, it's it's as simple as that. So okay, so far we've learned best universal selling tool, importance of email, proof of stories that pull a better response. The stories can be very short. Your audience pain points and hopes about the mechanism, about before and after, or about anything really. You know, whatever that you think is correct. So anything, anything about that. But there are two main problems you lack the big idea. I've been talking about big idea, big idea to people, how to do big idea, you know. So here is the key thing. Your mechanism will work only when it's called a rocket thruster. And the rocket thruster is the big idea. You know what a rocket thruster is? You have rocket upar urta hai. So there are thrusters that push the rocket up because they they, they they emit fire from below and when it goes further up then these have these have discharged all the fire so they need to be broken off they need to go off the rocket otherwise the weight will pull the rocket down then new thrusters will happen so that's what big idea is doing it's it's thrusting your story and your mechanism up even if it does have a big idea, it's usually presented poorly or in a way it doesn't inspire action. So let's take one by one. Big idea, creating emotionally and intellectually compelling idea with an opportunity for your prospect. So what does David say? Unless your advertising contains a big idea, it will pass like a ship in the night. Quietly it move out. You will not even know. Quietly, huge ship will just quietly pass away. What's the point? Not pass away, you know, move on. So look at this. I'm not I'm not I'm not reading this out. I want you to read this out yourself. Big idea covers your entire product and service, not just your emails. The big idea fuels everything you do, including your email and your 
strategy and your dreams and your goals and your business plans and your big webinars and your your uh, simulation of tools to getting clients in everything it does that's your big idea that's where you live this is where you think this is where your intellectual emotional quotient starts to flow juices that will make you more creative okay i i just want to stop here for a second and i want to ask you uh if it's adding any value to you if if it isn't say no or you're getting overwhelmed or bored say no if if i'm okay with it if you're okay with it then say yes <coughs> Great, 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 Shilpa. Thank you, thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you very much. So we've done the mechanism. We've done the big idea. We've done the importance of emails or videos. Look, when I say email, and you're happy with videos, go ahead with videos. But understand that email is your malgadi to carry those videos. So your videos can be, you know, uh, can be parked on YouTube or Facebook or any of these places. But when you're sending it out to your clients, then email is a great option too. So not so. What's a big idea? Okay, lose weight by eating less and moving more. It's not a big idea. By leveraging natural hormonal responses in your body, anyone can lose weight by creating a spontaneous calorie reduction simply by changing when they eat without hunger issues, without portion control, and without the need to work out longer. Now, that's very powerful. So that's a big idea, right? So similarly, big ideas have to be created. Emotionally stimulating, interesting on intellectual level, present an opportunity for your prospects for their better lives. Like I said, that you have to better their lives because you're into business, you're into profession, you have the capability, they don't have the capability. It's your responsibility, it's your dharma. Another example of big idea. Our mid-back swivel office chairs add sensible style to your office. They're very ordinary, no big deal. They're much better. The chair that relieves lower back pain because it alters your hip angle cushion. So mechanism at work. The way the seat is designed, it naturally contours to your hips, uh, uh, the way your hips are supposed to be angled. So the mechanism is already coming into play with your big idea. Now you see what it means? Your big idea coupled with the mechanism will empower the customer or the prospect to know more about it because it reduces, it elevates his pain. Ordinary idea. Our guitar lessons teach you all the necessary techniques to play songs. Big idea. Forget about learning techniques. Focus instead on the process of learning from music itself, where the techniques come from in the first place. Very powerful. So it's getting motivated to play the guitar rather than worrying about the process. Ordinary idea. Train for a marathon by starting small and gradually ramping up your mileage. I'm not too sure. Big idea. Train yourself to complete a marathon in one day. Wow. How is it possible? Really? Okay. So even if you do have big idea, it doesn't guarantee success because it's boring to corporate and focus formal, asking for more than action, no proof, dressed up for branding graphics, aren't direct enough, no clear call to action. Right? So it's it's got too much branding in it, or it's got too many things in it, and it's dissuading people to stick to the focus that they need to have. So your big idea fails. So when you get the big idea, and you're talking about the big idea because that, that might be disruptive, that might, uh, you know, push pull the carpet uh, um, under your feet. So, uh, you know, you, people will say, how is that possible, man? You, 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 what you're talking is out of your head. I don't think you, um, uh, you're serious about this. Yes, I am serious about it. He says, okay, then how will it happen? So they will have objections. 
So write down every single objection. Unbundle your big idea. Write down every um, objection they have. You know, don't filter. Don't just write down. Ask others for the objections to get more. Do your surveys. Find out from people what are their problems. For example, fitness product big idea. By leveraging not natural hormone, you need to. Uh, Again, I said, and without the need to work out longer. Reasonable objections. What do you mean spontaneous calorie reduction? How does that work? That doesn't make sense to me. What do you mean exactly? How can increasing in time between meals not make me hungry? Hungry. I've lost weight before by counting calories. How come you're saying it's not a good idea? Isn't weight loss all just a matter of calories? Calories in, calories out? Yeah, they're correct. So you need to have more, you know, as many objections as possible. And you need to answer these objections. And these can be your great stories. You know, isn't weight loss all just a matter of calories in, calories out? You can write a separate note. While the law of thermodynamics does indeed exist, calories in, calories out is a myth for weight loss. And then you can go into the mechanism of this entire thing. You should now have a healthy list of objections with corresponding answers. Whatever questions you've got, you know, put these sticky pad notes on a wall and keep writing the answers so that your entire thing is so robust. Nobody can shake you. You're unshakable. You can be leaning tower of pizza, pizza, but you're not, sorry, pizza, but you're not going to fall off. Fill your story buckets. Take a fresh stack of post-it notes and then go on creating stories with objections, big ideas and mechanisms. I have a system to do that, which I'll teach you at some other point of time. We're running out of time now. <laughs> Remember, you can tell stories about your product or service, your prospect, your successful customers, industry norms, your product mechanisms, stories in the news about your topic, anything. So you're in a, you have to be in a very powerful state if you have the big idea, you got effective arguments sorted out, you got mechanisms sorted out, and you have vivid and very real world snapshots that bring home what the thrill of it and the agony of defeat feels like. Friends, I'm telling you, just do these things and your stories will be at everyone's doorstep. Sometimes we just, we just get so excited that we want to write something, write something, but we don't look at these elements. So the document that you're going to download will have the first slide shows you all the documents. I'll show you what it is. OK, so it says sets expectations, passion, minimal branding, short, punchy sentences, raw language, you know, to telling damaging admission. Sometimes you don't want people to be you don't want wrong people to be in your list. So you will do some damaging admission that will scare them off and that will say, oh, what the hell? I don't want to be with him. You know, but people you who are following you, so you can cut down your list as well. You know, rather than paying Mailchimp or get sponsor or a whole lot of money to to keep your emails there, you can just sort of get rid of them if you don't want. But that's another story. Open loop, turning, telling, whitelisting. How can I serve you? So, hey Chris, yesterday I sent you my six packs secret program. Just checking if you received it. Did you? If you didn't receive it, then hit reply, send it again. But now let me say a couple of things here. The business of getting ripped up in a way I described as effortless, which is a term some people look look at me uh, in a little funny way. Yeah. So here are the elements. Here is your game changer. All those things you can see how many elements you've got in your story. Have you got this? 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 All these things, right? And then what you can do is the more email you send, the more money you make. Period. Full stop. Puran viram. Jada bejoge, jada milega. Jada log aenge. Jada webinar karoge, jada log aenge. It's your duty to keep in touch. You're helping them. Dharma, dharma of your life, your story. Even if it's true that up to 80% of your sales are covered within the first seven to 10 days, this still means that you're leaving 20% on somebody else's table. And that's a lot. Oh. So summary here, guys, if you like to take a screenshot, you can. Create your big ideas. List the objections to your big idea. Abaz aari hai apko sabko. Abaz aari hai to yes likho. 
because here my cursor is moving in circles, so I'm not too sure. Create your big idea, list your objections here, answers here, arrange the order of objections in the most important to least. List various mechanisms that apply to your product. I'm telling you, it's such a beautiful feeling when you've done that because then you've really mastered the art. List the story ideas you could tell about yourself, your product, your audience. Begin writing emails by combining these various elements together. Objections, mechanisms, stories with thrusters of big ideas. So friends, will this work in my business? 110%, doubtlessly, I can guarantee you that. It works for everyone, just have patience. Do you ever email with straight promo or sales pitch? I would not. Should I ever do, unless, you know, uski, you know, the flood is on. Everybody is talking about it. Mummy ka magic, do minute mein noodle, you know, and all of that. Then you've got the same product, you also push it. You know, ride the wave, but otherwise don't. Should I do content only emails? Why? When will you sell then? So do your content only and then also sell. If I keep writing about my mechanism and big idea over and over, won't people get tired of hearing about it? So how do you get creative about it? And how do you build audiences? You can't go on repeating the same thing again and again. You can repurpose it. You can show it again. Six months on the line because people might have forgotten. I say my introduction over and over again. And the people who are repeating this thing, because I want people to know exactly what my life goals are. So got more questions, need some help in applying to your business. I'm happy to help. I'm only a phone call away. Just use the link. Uh, Pareen, please post the community link, the uh, uh, WhatsApp link and the Instagram link. And I'm going to help as best as I can. Okay. And here you are here to um, work. Uh, okay. And friends, while I'm doing this, I, Natty Knitter is also selling, not selling to you, is also selling um, its digital marketing services like a package. It's a monthly package. Okay. And it's got everything in it in large quantities. Okay. So if you've got friends who are running businesses, medium and small scale businesses who are looking for digital marketers to take on their digital marketing. I don't do websites, a friend of mine does. I don't do landing pages, a friend of mine does. But the rest of the things we do. And we can take them to the next level in a few months. So, I, so I'm going to share that also. Just keep it with you. And anytime you come across an opportunity for me, who is looking for business and I'm already um, uh, signing up many deals from people who are buying my package and I'm so happy that it's happening. Thank you very much and this is how it is. Now I'm open to questions to people. If you've got questions, you can type them down and I can answer. And, and also when you have time and energy, maybe you can give me a testimonial a video testimonial is the best. One yoga to kuch likke de de na. Jo aapke masjid ho. Jo aapki shraddha ho. Oh, by the way, tomorrow I'm starting with Shivanga Sadhana. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, 21 day sadhana, uh, which has been designed by Sadhguru. And um, uh, it has, it's very intense. So from tomorrow onwards, I'll be in my sadhana. So next time you might see me in some other clothing. But I'm here. So every Tuesday is a digital marketing class, which is to do with emails or some one of these things. And then the, every Wednesday is storytelling class. And there'll be different elements coming in in different ways. So so, so stay tuned. But do sign up on the, um, the Facebook community because I'll be posting regular takeaways for you. Yeah, it's 2024. If uh, yeah, sure. So who's who's B Y? Can you can you say your name, please? Can you write your name, B Y? 
uh, I missed this session. Could we get a recording of this session? Yes, by all means, you will get it in your email 10 hours later. No problem with that. And uh, everybody is going to get recording of this 10 hours later. That's how the, it's been programmed. And um, so, so Mr. Osmi or Miss BY, um, uh, don't add E to it because then you'll say bye. Why don't you uh, write your name here? Thank you. Thank you, Shilpa. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Sanjeev. I'm waiting for more questions to come. If you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. We have lots of participants even now. And also, I'll put my number here just in case if you need to reach out to me. And that's the number where Bina, Bina, Bina is Bina. Yes. <laughs> okay. Great. Nice to meet you, Bina. Welcome to my class. Thank you very much. And friends, if you've got stories, just go ahead and join that WhatsApp chat and put your yes, yes, Bina. You will get the session in um, ten hours. And uh, so, friends, if you've got any stories, please go ahead and post them. And take this on. It's not a challenge. There are no challenges in life. Everything is preordained. Everything, the forces I've already said. You just go and ride the wave. You do what you have to do. Apne karam karo, kalki chinta bhool jao. Hoga ho. Ho sab pehle se decided hai. Oh, I'm sorry. No sound. <coughs> sorry about that. Um, no sound or sound? Free? Can you just... Okay, thank you, Nat. I really appreciate it. I love thank yous. And if you can write thank you on my uh, in my community, I'll be even more grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, so, love you all, guys. Thank you very much. I am going to stop this slide presentation and do. Um, there to you all and thank you thank you very much bye bye good night shabbat here